send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. For it shall be that as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. Take counsel, execute judgment, make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday. Hide the outcasts, bewray not him that wandereth. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee, Moab. Be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler, for the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land. And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Boab. He is very proud even of his haughtiness, and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab. Every one shall howl, for the foundations of Kerahaseth shall ye mourn. Surely they are stricken. For the fields of Heshbon languish, and the vine of Sibma. The lords of the heathen have broken down the principal plants thereof. They are come even unto Jazer. They wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out. They are gone over the sea. Therefore I will bewail with the weeping of Jaza, the vine of Sibma. I will water thee with my tears, O Heshbon and Eliali, for the shouting of thy summer fruits and for thy harvest is fallen, and gladness is taken away, and joy out of the plentiful field. And in the vineyards there shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Wherefore my bowel shall sound like an harp for Moab, and mine inward parts for Kirharish. And it shall come to pass when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray, but he shall not prevail. This is the word that the Lord hath spoken concerning Moab since that time. But now the Lord hath spoken, saying, Within three years, as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned with that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble.